Okay, Marie had a question in the ClickFunnels group about what you can use to emulate a color or a font on one of your competitors' sites. So I figured I'd shoot a real quick video to show people the way I do it. You can go in and, and put in a color picker tool into your browser if you want, but I don't really think that's the most effective way, especially if you're trying to emulate the font. So I just went and opened up a template inside of ClickFunnels. Wanted to pick one that had uh, some nice background colors so we could test this. And so I have it open here on the page. And what you're going to see is the best way to figure it out is to use the developer tool or the inspect tool right built into your browser. So you're going to come over the background area that you want to check the color of. You're going to want to right click and inspect. And when it opens up, we want to find the div that holds that background color. And so sometimes you got to click around a little bit to find what you're looking for. But here's the div that I'm looking for that has that background color. And you can see it's spelled out right here. Background color is this. And then the border color is showing here as well. So you have the ability to uh, pull both colors at the same time. So let's just look at the background color. Starts off as your RGBA color. That is one way that you can put the color into ClickFunnels. If you want to just copy this color as is, just click on that button. Come down. I'll show you in a text editor what it looks like. So you can just easily just have copied that straight away into your, uh, into your ClickFunnels account. So let's go back over here. Second way you could pick a color out of here is this color picker. You can toggle it on and off. When it's blue, it's on. And you can come over and you could just click anywhere back into the page you're inspecting. And you can pick the color this way. You could come over. Let's say you want to pull this blue off of this uh, lady's shirt or the gray of the shirt or any other colors on the page. You can pull it off that way as well. Or if you're looking to do your hexadecimal color, which is what you're going to do most of the time is just do a hexadecimal color, you're going to click on these arrows and you see it changes now to S HSLA and then also to our hex color. And again, if, you're, if you want to use that color, then just click on this button or you can, of course, highlight it and do a right click and copy. So that's how you can pick the color anywhere on the page, a couple of different ways by using the inspector tool built right into all browsers today. I'm on a Mac using Chrome, but if you're on a PC and you're using IE or anything else, they all have the same tools built into it. It might just be called something slightly different. Now let's close that out. And because the second thing that Marie was asking about is how do you figure out what a font would be. So let's just click on to this item right here and we're going to check to see what the font is for that. And uh, so it shows up that we have our bold text right here. So we're going to come over and again, it's going to start telling us stuff about this particular text. We have our color of 255 across the board. That means that it is white. And again, we can click on our color picker. We can go through, we can pick out our hex. We can do whatever we want again here with our colors. It's also telling us the font weight is 700, which means it's bold or strong. And then as we scroll down a little bit, we find out that the text alignment is center. The font size is 32. The line height is 1.3. All of these things, of course, can be input right into your Clicks, ClickFunnels editor. And we scroll down a little bit further, and we get to right here the font family. So this tells you exactly what the font is of this text right here. So it's whatever that says, Quattro Cento is the main font color. I'm sorry, the main font family. And then if that is not available, so if somebody's watching this on a device where this Google font is not available on their device, it will then default to a Helvetica font. 
And if a health Helvetica font is not available, it will just default to a whatever sans serif font the computer has or the device has. So that's how, again, you pick out exactly what the font family will be. And if you see here, we can go back into the template itself. We can click on it, open this up, and you can see right here, Quattro Cento, which is not in the, your basic fonts, but it's up here on the top in the Google fonts. And we can scroll down and find it right there. Okay. So that's it. So that, that's exactly how I would pick out colors and fonts off of a website that I was um, hacking and uh, seeing how they were doing their stuff. So if you got any questions, just get a hold of me.